This is problem number five of uh, chapter 15 point uh, sections one, two, three. So we have two trains here. We have two trains, one moving to the right with a velocity of 20 kilometers per hour. And then we have a train B moving in the other direction with a velocity of 10 kilometers per hour. So those trains eventually meet and they attach together. And when they attach, they compress this uh, spring. The spring has a constant of three mega newtons per meters. So we are being asked to find the maximum compression of the spring when they attach and they they, they attach and they keep going till the, the spring is maximum compressed. So what do we do? This is our initial position, and then we have a final position. When they meet, we have the compressed uh, spring, the two trains together, uh, or the two cars together, right? And since they are attached, they move with only one velocity, the two of them. So. We can say this is the initial ve velocity of car A and car B, and this is the final velocity, we can call it A plus B, one. Okay, so, why are we using to solve the problem? With, there is no friction, this is considered smooth surface. So we only have our spring and the velocity. So we can say that there is conservation of linear momentum, and then we will see that there is conservation of energy as well. So we can say the conservation of linear momentum. As, as you remember, that comes from the equations that the impulses forces equals to the integral, the forces times t, equals to the difference between the linear momentum. And since we don't have any external forces, we can say that this is zero. And then we say that the linear momentum in position two that we call one, let's say, let's use the same numbers that we used before in our drawing, so to make it consistent. So here we can say that all the masses for the first position are equals, times the velocities are equals to all the masses times the velocity in the final position, which, which we can call one. Okay, so what do we have in the initial position? We have two velocities and two mass. Be careful with the units, it's very important. So the first that we're going to do is make all the units consistent with the MKS, which is kilograms, meters, and seconds. So that velocity, the A, which is 20 kilometers per hour, we have to convert that to meters per second. So the kilometers we multiply by 1,000, and the hours to get it to seconds, we will divide it, right, by 3,600. So we have that that is equals to 5.556 meters per second, and velocity B at the initial position, which is 10 kilometers per hour, is equals to, well, I'm going to also include the sign, right? Because if we have our coordinate system x and y, that velocity is negative, right? So it will be 2,778 meters per second. So now we have our velocities in our proper units. We have to put the weights, our weights, in, the, in proper units as well. We have the mass in 30 megagrams, which is 30,000 kilograms. And the mass B is equals to 15 megagrams, which is equals to 50,000 kilograms. Our position one will be mass MA, BA, zero, plus MB, BB, zero, equals to mass A plus mass 
v all together times that velocity, which I call v a plus b in the final position or position one. So substituting the, the, the values, we have here 30,000 velocity of a, which is 5.556 5, plus 15 multiplied by negative 2778. That's equals to my two mass together, which is 45,000 times the velocity a, B at position 1. And from here, the only unknown that I have is that final position, the final velocity in the final position. So I can solve for that. And the result for that velocity in position 1 is equals to 2,007. So it, it gave me the same value as that one, but in the opposite direction. It gave me a positive value. That means that my two cars attach together and they keep going in the to the right. So they attach and they keep moving together as a whole the rigid body to the right. Okay, but so now we found the, the, the velocity when they attack, but we have not found that where we are asking for, right? Which is the maximum compression of the spring. For that, we will use our second equation that we will use is conservation of energy. Because in, uh, since as we did with the conservation of linear momentum, we don't have we don't have any external force, non-conservative. So we will have that the initial energy, which is kinetic pl plus potential, will be equals to the final energy, which will be kinetic plus potential energy. So what will be our initial energy in this position? Well, we have two cars, so it will be 1 half, one half mass A, V A squared, plus one half and b v v squared. That's for the initial position, which is then one half thirty thousand plus v a, which is five point five five six squared plus one half fifteen thousand plus multiply by negative two seven seven eight squared. The initial potential energy, we don't have any potential energy at the beginning because that spring is unstretched and the weights are perpendicular to motion, so we have zero potential energy. The final energy will be one half. The two cars together, which is 45,000 times the velocity of those cars together, which is 2778 squared. And then we have the final potential energy, and then we have all the spring compressed. So if we have that spring compressed, and actually, okay, those two cars are moving together, but we don't have relative motion, right? So, so we have the spring is absolutely compressed, and then probably, well, it will kind of try to stretch again, but we want to find the maximum, so it will be one half k times what it compresses maximum. And that's an unknown. And that will be 1 half k, we say it's 3 mega newtons, so that's 3 to the 6 uh, times ds max square. So, and as you see, if we plug all these numbers in our equation, here, the only unknown that we have is the maximum compression. So I could write that all these numbers again, and it, in my equation will be 1 half, 30,000, 5556 five, five, squared plus 1 half, 15,000, negative 2778 squared equals to 1 half, 45,000 times 2778 square 
plus one half three to the to the six to the s, which is what I want to find. Solving for delta s max, which is what I want to find, I get the result delta s max is equals to zero point four eight one meter. So that's the answer where we're looking for. So this problem had two steps. First, finding the final velocity, and then finding the maximum uh, compression of the spring. This is it.